I'm Fred Addis. I'm the curator of the Leacock Museum National Historic Site here in Aurelia. I like to describe myself as the man who gets paid to take Stephen Leacock seriously. Leacock was born in Swanmore, Hampshire in 1869. He emigrated to Canada with his family uh, at the age of six, and they settled at a little place south of Sutton, Ontario, called Egypt. They were very poor farmers, and it wasn't long before they left the land. He was one of 11 children, and so uh, had a strong sense of family, and very shortly after his 16th birthday, uh, his father was estranged from the family, and thereafter Stephen Leacock became the patriarch of the Leacock clan. He wrote right across the creative writing spectrum. He wrote history, biography, uh, fiction, of course. Uh, he even dabbled with a little bit of poetry. Um, but he's best known for his humor. He wrote in total 65 books. The greater part of them were humorous works. Uh, Sunshine Sketches of a Little Town celebrates its 100th anniversary this year. One of the really interesting things about Stephen Leacock is that he was uh, successful with a foot in two camps. He was a professional academic and an economist by trade, and also he was a humor writer um, and a public speaker. Stephen Leacock's property here at the Old Brewery Bay totaled as much as 40 acres during his lifetime. Um, there was a whole farm set up here. There was a servant's quarters. Today we have the historic 1928 house. We have the uh, gift shop and administration building with our uh, outdoor terrace cafe called Swanmore Terrace and we also have a reproduction of Leacock's boathouse. The original was built in 1913. The present one was built on a weekend bee by a group of volunteers back in 1994. When you walk into Leacock House today you get a sense of uh, Stephen Leacock himself as you walk through the halls, up the staircases, uh, as you wander through the basement. And it's one of the real lasting gifts of legacy that Stephen Leacock gave to this community. Uh, unfortunately, Mrs. Leacock died in 1925. In 1928, Stephen Leacock commissioned the architects Wright and Knoxon to build this house in the arts and crafts style. It's 19 rooms. Um, it has uh, Norway pine throughout as paneling. It has some wonderful features, not the least of which is uh, an incredible number of doors and windows, most of which were recycled for the 1922 house. It has a wonderful serenity to it. Um, you also have a real sense that this was a very intelligent man a dedicated lifelong learner. When you see the volumes that are on the bookshelves, when you see the style in which he lives, and if you have any understanding of his writing, you get the sense that this guy was incredibly curious about the world that he lived in. He was interested in imparting some of that knowledge to his readers, but most of all, just an insatiable uh, hunger to know all that he possibly could throughout his lifetime.